Good morning. It's eclipse day. Got a solar eclipse today. Come on out. Gotta let the chickens out. Easy now. Come on, chickens. The question is, will the chickens go up during the solar eclipse and put themselves back in the coop? We'll have to wait and see. Morning, everybody. Today's the solar eclipse. Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So where we're located here in southeastern Illinois, we just happen to be right in the path of the, the solar eclipse. And we are right in that band, that narrow band of total solar eclipse. So it's supposed to get completely dark here today, I think for about three, three and a half minutes, somewhere in there. And uh, this will be the first total eclipse I've ever seen. Uh, so me and Rebecca, we ended up taking off work today, and then we have family coming over today. We're actually going to end up having a cookout, uh, use it as kind of a time to have a family get together. But before any of that happens, we're I still got a bunch of chores that still need to be done this morning. So I think we got lucky. Last night it rained. You can see there's still a little bit of a fog here. It was pretty good thunderstorms last night. But you can see it looks like we're going to have a nice blue sky today to be able to see the eclipse. Save all this, it'll make good bedding for the sheep here later on. So I think the first of the family is gonna show up in about a half an hour. So Rebecca's just trying to make sure she's got all her cleaning done before they show up. So we're about four hours away from the eclipse now and they sell these eclipse glasses. You're supposed to like fold them and you know, make yourself a nice set of glasses. Pretty styling, huh? Right? I can't see a darn thing through these, but you're supposed to be able to see the sun through it and be able to watch the eclipse. Now, with us being in the total eclipse, they say when it completely gets dark, you can actually take your glasses off and you can look at it with your bare eyes for like the two minutes, three minutes that it's total eclipse and you gotta put your glasses back on. So it'll be interesting to see how that is. Apparently there's a bunch of these that are fake. You really wanna get the ones that say, ISO or whatever, so they're certified. But I'm gonna go ahead, let's put these in front of the camera and we'll see if we can see the sun through these. All right, that's what the sun looks like through the glasses. So we should be able to watch the eclipse and hopefully we can get it on camera. So another thing I thought could possibly work would be like a welding hood. So these auto darkening hoods, you can actually adjust how dark they are. So hopefully you could adjust it to be able to see the sun. This one darkens all the way to 12, and I heard you needed somewhere between 12 and 14 to be able to work. So let's look at that through the camera and see how a welding hood looks. All right, here's the sun through the welding hood. It actually looks a lot better than the camera shows it. So after looking through both of these, I think the welding hood actually looks better. So it's more of a green tint. You can actually adjust how bright the sun is, and it just looks clear as can be. Now through these, it's more of a brown tint and it just doesn't, I mean, it's, it's cheap plastic, so it's not as clear as an image. And the bad thing about these is, is they don't stay on your head. Like they just wanna fall off, which is a bad time when you're staring at the sun, right? So you about have to hold them on your head while you're looking at the sun. So um, I do have to admit, you'd look like a weirdo wearing this and these are pretty styling, but I think the white hood's probably better. So I've been trying to get everything set up to hopefully film the eclipse. So I've got this camera, I've changed all the settings on it. I'm, I'm hoping that I can get an actual video of it. And then I was thinking about throwing a drone in the air today, get it up in the air. It should stay up in the air for 20 to 30 minutes and it should be able to capture the whole sequence as, as it gets dark and then gets bright again and it should get the whole landscape 
you know, of the farm as we go through the eclipse. So it'd be pretty neat. I'm going to try to capture it in those two ways today. And uh, at least that's what I'm going to try to do. We'll see how it turns out. All right, family's here. We're going to go ahead and start grilling out. And Jason is trying to make some glasses for the kids, or at least some make them safer. You want to show me those glasses? See? More protection from the sun. You can color those too, right? You can decorate it. All right, the eclipse has officially started. So Rebecca's convinced that the temperature is gonna drop during the eclipse, so we're gonna monitor it, 74 degrees. And right now the sun is almost, I'd say 40% covered. All right, it's probably, I think 18 minutes till total eclipse now. Probably can't tell it in the camera, but it is getting dimmer outside. It's almost looking like it's cloudy, but it's not. It's just it's just dimmer. So I'm gonna go set up a camera out the barn and see if I can get the chickens going in the coop, and then I'll check on all the livestock before it happens. So far, all the animals are still acting normal. They're just out here grazing. Maya's got some flies on her that she's not real happy about. But I guess the best way to describe it, it's like you're wearing a pair of sunglasses, but you're not. That's basically how it looks right now. All right, we got three more minutes until total eclipse, and we're sitting at 70 degrees, so it's temperature's dropped. Oh man, it is getting dark. Yeah. 69. 69 degrees. What's the countdown? I don't know. Oh, two. Another minute. One more minute till the eclipse and it is definitely dark out here. It is not going to show up on camera very well, but it is, it, it looks like dusk for sure. Hey, you can see a planet. Look at the planet. Where? To the right, right there. I thought I saw one for a second, but there's supposed to be that right devil's right column you're supposed to be able to see during the eclipse. You see the planet? Don't look at the sun. I think I see it. It's dark oh, enough it's now that the, Dust till dawn light has kicked on. Oh, the sun's going away. It's dying. <laughs> it's dying. The sun is going away. It's dying. Oh, there's only, there's hardly yeah. any left. It's getting close. It's, it's actually getting to the point where you can about look at it without your glasses. Almost. Yeah. There's only a tiny bit left. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. I love you. Goodbye, son. I love you. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. It is a circle. Well, it's definitely like nighttime out here. You can see stars in the sky. We can see where the sun is. There's the sun right there. It looks like a complete halo circle. You <laughs> see, everybody's excited. It is crazy. Supposedly, you can see a planet up there as well. But it's not going to last, but another few seconds or a minute it's gonna start getting light again what? 68 degrees out huh it started at 82.2 yeah it's what? cooled down you know night is supposed to be cold but it's not night it's super warm out here. it's crazy 
Yeah, I couldn't even get the uh, camera to film it anymore. It got so dark the camera wouldn't yeah. film it anymore. See how you can see like flares coming yeah. off the end of the sun? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that little dot at the bottom? Yeah, the orange yeah that's like, yeah, it's like a flare. flare. Look at the light coming across. Oh, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna start getting brighter on that oh, bottom corner. Yep, here it comes. Okay, yeah. okay. The sun is okay. coming back out. As soon as the sun started popping out, it was probably less than 30 seconds, and it's already starting to seem like daylight out here. That was very unique. The temperature dropped down to 68. I think we actually had 82 degrees before it ever started eclipsing. So temperature dropped. You can see stars in the sky. Definitely a unique experience for sure. So after reviewing the drone footage, the sheep were in both fields and when the eclipse happened, um, most of them ran over to be with the other sheep. So they, they may have reacted to the eclipse, but they just kept on grazing even though it got dark. So over at the chicken coop, there wasn't any chickens around until it started getting dim. And then they all started gathering around the chicken coop. They didn't go inside, but they just gathered up outside of the coop. And that was, uh, I don't know, maybe a third of our chickens. So I do think that they did react to the solar eclipse. All right, we're on the far side of the eclipse now. It's only about 50% covered. The temperature is back up to 71. And let me show you this. We used, they made a pinhole in this plate so that you could see the eclipse. So back here, the shadow shows what the eclipse looks like right now. And it has to be a pinhole for it to work. We tried a drilled hole, that didn't work. Pinhole did work. So now that the totality of the eclipse is over with, um, we all kind of talked about it and pointed out different things that we, we noticed. And of course, you know, you could see the stars in the sky. It got so dark, but it actually, Jason pointed out that one of the things was it almost looked like sunset, except it was completely all the way around you. So instead of the, you know, the horizon being lit up to the east or to the west, it was lit up 360. So you had this band of light all the way around the horizon. The center of the sky was completely dark and you saw, saw all the dust till dawn lights came on it. It just was very unique experience. There's nothing, there's definitely nothing like it. I've seen partial eclipses before, and this is totally different. You gotta have that totality to be able to get the complete darkness, to be able to see the ring of light around the sun. And yeah, as soon as a little bit of the sliver of the sun pops right back out, it's over and it's starting to be bright again. Um, so anybody ever gets a chance to see a total eclipse it's definitely i think worth it but anyway i think they're all getting ready to go mushroom hunting and we're going to go enjoy the rest of the day so hope you guys have a great day i'll see you next time